This is David. Today, I am going to talk about Azure Key Vaults. An Azure Key Vault is a way of storing secure information inside of Azure. Store it securely so that only those folks who want to, that you want to be able to access that information, like those applications, those user accounts, those services, only those that you specify can get to that information. You can store things like certificates, encryption keys, or just any random secret that you want. Just a name value pair, like a connection string or a password. So that's, those are great things to store inside of Azure Key Vault. But the first thing you need to do is to create a Key Vault, a place to store those things. And the way I do that is I log into the Azure portal and I click up here, Create Resource, the big plus button. And I'll search for Key Vault. There it is right there. And this page gives some information about a key vault and a few resources here, but I'll click this button right here. It says create to get started. And it brings up a dialogue to create a key vault dialogue. You notice there are a few tabs at the top here, basics, access policy, which specifies uh, some information about who can access it. Um, networking, you can specify which network's public and private, uh, can access it. Tags, which doesn't really have doesn't actually do anything except that it allows you to sort things on reports and group things on reports. So if you wanted to say which department owned this key vault, at the end of the month you could report that out and maybe do some billing against it, for example, or auditing trails, things like that. But the only thing required is these things on the basics tab. And then of course the review and create, which is the, the final button. And uh, first thing we need to do is to select a resource group. You can create a new one here, but I've already created one. I'm a, I called it GCAST, the name of the show, KV, RG, I've got one right there. Resource group is just a, a logical grouping of related items inside of Azure. And then I have to give this thing a name. I'm going to call this Key Vault GCAST KV for Key Vault and a region. And the region, I want to think about who's going to access the, the information in this Key Vault, where are they located? I want to minimize the latency. So I'm going to put it in the US here. It happens to be the default, and I'm in the eastern half of the US where I'm recording this. So that's fine. Uh, for the pricing tier, I have two options, standard and premium. The big difference is that the premium supports these uh, HSM keys. So uh, it, if you need that kind of security, you can do that. I don't, so I'm just going to leave the default, which is standard, which is also cheaper. And then I come down here to the recovery options checking. And what this does is that by default, objects that are placed in the Azure Key Vault when they are deleted are not permanently deleted. They are what's called soft deleted. So when you decide to delete something, it's you won't see it anymore. It's not really available to the public, but you can still go on and you can recover it or you can undelete it. And you can do so for a period of time. By default, that period is 90 days, but you can change that. You can say, oh, you know, only want it for seven days or only want it for 30 days, whatever. I'll leave it as the default right here. Um, and then um, if you and then for, for the first 90 days, if I want to, I can undelete anything that I've deleted uh, 90 days after I've deleted it. Um, how, after that 90 days is up, then tough. It, it gets purged, meaning it's permanently deleted. And I will, by, if, I will also be able to, if I want before that 90 days is up, I can say, I can go in and actively purge and say, you know, this one I really don't want anymore. I really want to permanently delete it and purge an item unless I enable purge protection that disables that feature. So I'll leave it here. I'll say, yeah, you can purge things early if you want to. They will get purged automatically after 90 days. And until that time, I can undelete any soft delete. All right. And then I can click next to go to the next tab here, or I can click review and create to take me all the way to the last one. It does a bit of validation here just to verify that there's nothing missing. There's nothing inconsistent in here. And there isn't here. And I can tell that because this review and create button is enabled. So I will click that button there and that'll go out. It'll create a new Azure Key Vault. It'll deploy it to Azure, displays this message while it's happening. You can also see it up here in this. And this takes maybe 30 seconds. Uh, and when it's done, I'll be able to have an Azure Key Vault that I can work with. And there it is. I click go to resource here or go to resource here. They're both the same thing. Click on that. I could also search for it up here. Um, and in fact, by default, it'll show up here. The, these are the recent things I did. I just, just created right there. So here it is. Here's some information about it. Um, you can see the name of it is here. And we've got some other options here where we can store the keys and the secrets and the certificates. I skipped over that access policies and networking, but here you can go in and change that. I'll cover those 
in a later video. But right now I've got you started. You can create a brand new Azure Key Vault. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.